Greetings to the whole world. This is Luandile here, the leader and the instructor of Maninko School. Today we're actually going to be doing exercise 2.12. As you can see, we already have exercise 2.12 from student A's perspective. Okay, right now we want to solve uh, this exercise from student B's perspective. Uh, someone who's a bit clever than student A. I did ask you guys to let me know what you think what you think I have done incorrectly on my previous solution, which was uh, exercise 2.12a. And for all of those who happened to comment, I really appreciate it because this thing keeps me going. Like the more it becomes interactive the more it keeps me going so that's why i keep asking you guys to leave to leave comments okay okay so what you want to do right now is to simply go to because we're actually creating an exercise 2.12 b Okay, what you want to do first before I do anything, before we even read the question in case you didn't, let me put this link. This is the link over here for this textbook we're using. I know I've been repeating this stuff. Probably I, I'm a bit annoying to some people who have been watching this video, but you see how oh, you gotta also think about people who might be watching your video your videos for the very first time so that's why I keep uh, posting this uh, URL so that you guys can find your own PDF that way you'll be able to go through this example first before trying to before checking out my solutions okay so let's get back to the question in case anyone didn't get the question so here's the question exercise 2.12 given an airplane's acceleration a and the takeoff speed v you can compute the minimum runaway length needed for an airplane to take off using the following formula okay length is equal to velocity squared all over 2 multiplied by the multiplied by the acceleration okay so we gotta write a program that prompts the user to enter v in meters per second and the acceleration in meters per second squared and display the minimum runaway length so we were also i mean we are also given uh, given a sample run like if you have noticed i don't usually put I don't usually check my solution that much simply because I think like uh, my solutions they do work in case though you feel like I messed up somewhere I always uh, recommend people to let me know their suggestions of course I'm not a machine I do make mistakes so you wouldn't expect each and everything to be as correct and as precisely as it can be okay so what you want to do the main mistake was with variables with student a in case you didn't figure that out you see i always tell you guys the importance of of naming your variables you don't want to go with the abbreviations because because uh as the time goes by as you grow in this world of programming you you'll be working on uh, huge projects the kind of projects that would involve a bunch of people probably 10 teams or maybe more than that that's roughly it could be roughly 100 people depending on the kind of a project you're working on the organization you're working on so on and so forth 
So it is very crucial that it is very crucial that it is very crucial that your variables they they, they are descriptive. Otherwise, you're gonna me you're gonna be making some problem. You gotta you're gonna be making other people's life a bit challenging just because you didn't master the concept of being able to give readable solutions okay so what you want to do now now that you've created the scanner what you want to do is to come to user to enter system dot out dot print what you want to do is to come to user to enter and um, the I can simply enter speed and acceleration. Okay, we just go double speed. Is equals to scanner dot next. Double acceleration equal to scanner dot next. Okay. Okay. What else we do is we go. Uh, oh, it is actually time to compute our land simply go land land equal to net dot pow I don't know for a sec I felt like someone was coming by and I had a huge heartbeat <laughs> like my heart for a sec, it like it, it went boom, and like it felt like someone was coming by. As I told you guys, I'm taking this video. It's it's in the middle of oh, it's in it's in the middle of the night. So I this place Mayville is not a good place. So there are there are people with aggressive character out here so for a second I thought it might be one of them anyways let's get going let's continue with our solution so what else we do we simply go speed or we can simply do this we don't have to use net.pow all the time even if we can avoid it it's not like we sh you should though I mean, sometimes it's a matter of picking what, whatever that you think works better for you, or whatever you prefer. Acceleration. Is this the right formula? Let's check it out. Seems like we could. Seems like we could. Now let's continue displaying the result. So it's simply gonna be more or less like what we had. In fact, the very same thing we had on our last solution, which was system dot out dot print f. And then we simply go the minimum. Runway land for this plane is we specify how we wanna format our output and then we put land. 
subscribe okay now let's try to display okay let's try to see what we get if we go 60 and 3.5 the same way we did last time seems like we got of course you can try different numbers here you folks you don't have to only check for the case we were given on the sample run right you can check something else something such as 120 and 10.5 and see what you get you also gotta think of exceptions though i mean cases that will make your program crash so if you think there is such a case on this program that will make it crash then let me know in the comments see you guys on the next tutorial cheers i'm gone